Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add or remove a phone number or email address to FaceTime on the iPhone 15 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. From the home screen, tap on settings. Then in the settings page, we scroll down and then tap on FaceTime. Next, in FaceTime, to remove a phone number, go to the section where so you can be reached by FaceTime at and uh, tap on your phone number to remove. Next, from the pop-up, tap on remove and that will remove your phone number from FaceTime. Uh, similarly to an email address, if you want to remove it, just simply deselect your email address and it will be removed from FaceTime. Now, if you want to sign out of your Apple ID, so you can tap on that and then tap on sign out and this will allow you to sign out of FaceTime. And that's it. So that is how you can uh, remove it. Uh, you can tap on FaceTime and then switch back on. Once it is switched on, you can use a phone number or you can sign in with your email address. So tap on done in here. Uh, give it some time uh, to allow it to sign in. So tap on your phone number. Uh, once it is uh, signed in, then you can tap on done. So you can see here, it is trying to uh, establish your phone number uh, onto your face onto the FaceTime server. And here uh, we have successfully uh, add the phone number to uh, FaceTime. To um, add in your email address, you can tap on use your Apple ID for FaceTime. If you do not see this button here, you can tap on the back key and then go back into FaceTime and it will uh, appear down here. So tap on use your Apple ID for FaceTime and then tap on sign in. So you can sign in with your current email address or you can sign in with a different uh, email address. Now, when you tap on the sign in button, it may take uh, some time. So give it a moment or two. Uh, and uh, after some time, it will allow you to sign in with your Apple ID. And uh, if you do have, if you do want to sign in with a different Apple ID, you can tap and use other Apple ID and then you can put in a different uh, email address. Now, as you can see just then, uh, after some time, it will show your uh, email address uh, because I tap on use a different um, Apple ID, so um, the screen trying to refresh and uh, it's kind of like gone on and off right there. And that's it. After that, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.